What's up? This is Squad2448 where a fallen scientist on Team on Review. Today we'll be taking a look at a GMC pickup truck, some Chevy pickup trucks, a V plow, brush mower, and some fire trucks. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a GMC 1500 Sahara. This is very similar to the one back in FS15. It is color changeable, and this thing looks awesome. You guys can see very nicely done on the wheels. And as you come around to the side, it looks to be a crew cab with a six and a half foot bed. And when you do come around to the back, it does have a hitch along with a gooseneck hitch which is pretty cool and you guys can see it does have four straps here in the back of the truck once we hop here on the inside view it goes 105 miles per hour and all of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool and it looks like there's also the option for automatic bales but you guys can see these lights are pretty epic turn signals work everything like that and then on the inside view very nicely done very detailed working steering wheel no working mirrors or gauges but I mean this thing looks awesome I really do like this tr truck a lot and it was one of my favorite trucks back in FS15 so I would be definitely using this again and overall I really do like the handling of this stops really well and I mean this thing looks awesome all of the mods will be down below in the description I do recommend you check all of them out some exciting mods we are taking a look at today next up is a 2016 LT Silverado 1500 this thing is pretty cool it is color changeable and there's a few different engine options take a look at the high quality graphics on this mod I mean this thing very high quality there's a few different toolbox options headache rack and antennas which is pretty cool it does not have a hitch but it does have a very nice bed liner as you guys can see three straps here in the back now there is an attacher joint which is pretty cool but it does not show up here you guys can see very nicely done on the wheels and it does have steps one of the most high quality Chevys I have seen in some time once we hop on the inside view this goes 100 miles per hour in all of the lights do work on it my favorite lights as you guys can see very nicely done on these these look awesome and take a look at those daytime running lights and then all of the lights do work which is pretty cool on the inside view it does have an interior view this actually does change colors but it's not too detailed we'll take this for a spin to see how this chevy handles I really do like Chevy 1500s and this is one very cool design, it looks pretty cool. If you guys can see the handling of this truck is on point, the acceleration is pretty realistic for a truck and like I was saying guys, very detailed truck overall. We'll be kind of coming over here, turning it off, and up next, we'll be taking a look at a Chevy High Country pack. Now, there was a Chevy High Country release with a dually and a single rear wheel, and these are edits of it, which is pretty cool. Looks like we have one with a flap, and then we have a plow version, which is awesome. So, you guys can see, looks like these do sit a little bit higher. Custom fuel wheels, which is pretty cool. I really do like it a lot, the chrome on the tow mirrors. And then, as you come around to the back, very nicely done on these dually wheels. Those look pretty cool. Giant exhaust at a side of it you guys can see it's a MBRP exhaust which is pretty cool drop hitch and it does have a gooseneck and take a look at this flatbed guys very nicely done LED lights and this thing looks pretty cool you guys can see up top there's a few chains for tie downs once we hop on the inside view this goes 100 miles per hour there's a few different options for it looks like some of these lights do work take a look at that looks like all of them in the back you guys can see those awesome lights very uh, nicely done truck and I do like these lights a lot in this truck is not color changeable. We'll take this force spin to see how this thing handles, but I mean, this is pretty cool. Now, it does have a bit of body roll, which is pretty realistic for a truck that is on much larger wheels. You guys can see they do come out past the fender and the wheel wells of the back, but I mean, overall, this is one epic truck, and like I was saying, it is an edit of the one released by Punk and Dylan. While we are in this truck, we'll be taking a look at this V-Plow, and I mean, this V-Plow is pretty cool. This does have its own minute mount, or else we'll be taking a look at it with the other one. So this does have its own, and this fully functions, which is pretty cool. Now, even though this does not have the plow mount, it still does have the attacher joint, since, like I was saying, there's two versions in the Bible. So once you attach to it, you guys can see it does sit pretty well on this truck, and it does work. Take a look at that, guys. Full V plow option. I mean, it's a little bit smaller of a plow, but this thing is pretty cool. It does work very, very well. And I believe that there is an option without the uh, minute mount, which is perfect because some trucks do already have that pre installed. So, I mean, that's pretty cool having this V plow. You guys can see that it does do the scoop, which is also pretty cool. Let's kind of put it into a scoop now. Let's take a look that you can do both at the same time. That is pretty cool. And I believe that this is one of the first working ones here in the game. We'll be taking. 
we'll be turning this off and we'll be taking a look at the plow version of the high country you guys can see that it does come with a sander in the back you guys can see it is strapped down and it actually has a sign that says warning stay back 100 feet that's pretty realistic now I mean that's very high quality very realistic also to have those straps making sure that that will not be moving and then in the front you guys can see it does have the plow mount which is awesome I mean that looks pretty cool we'll hop on the inside view we'll just take a quick look at all of the lights you guys can see everything does work on them no plow lights but overall I mean very nicely done truck and up next the final attachment we'll be taking a look at today is this brush mower this is color changeable very realistic and it is pretty small very simple textures but I mean this thing is awesome we'll be hopping in this end game tractor and we'll attach and take a look I'm very excited for all of these mods. These are some pretty epic mods, and I do recommend all of them. So once they do attach, you guys can see the PTO does kind of come in. That back wheel does move around, which is pretty cool. And I mean, this is one very small brush mower, which is nice. I do like having a variety of larger ones and smaller ones. And as you guys can see, it does cut pretty well. Very nicely done. And it, like I was saying, is small. You guys can see the blade moving. That is pretty cool. And I will be adding this to the lawn care shop, which you guys will be seeing a video with in the next week but overall very nicely done and I also do like how it is color changeable up next we'll be taking a look at some fire trucks made by R&R Apparatus on Facebook I will have their link down below in the description I mean these are some epic trucks up first we'll be taking a look at this uh, sea grave engine this is pretty cool full working lights on it and there is a water trigger that you do have to fill up and then you could use a hose this is engine 71 you guys can see very nicely done there's an option for having the non-realistic chrome if you cannot run the high quality chrome I believe once we hop on the inside of you, you guys can see many different things when you do press the home key all of the lights do turn on which is pretty cool take a look at this as a top speed of 62 miles per hour all the headlights work everything like that turn signals and I mean these are some epic fire trucks haven't seen any of these in the game ever before on the inside of you, you guys can see working steering wheel very nicely done very realistic and I mean all these fire trucks are awesome you guys can see great interior and I mean this thing looks pretty cool now it does have some pretty epic sirens which is pretty cool federal Q and I mean so many different ones and I mean that is pretty cool all the sirens are the same throughout all of them and then I actually do have a placeable fire hydrant up here which we'll be taking a look at so as you guys can see you can just drive up to it and this will actually refill take a look at that so I mean that's very realistic how after each fire you have to go kind of fill up your engines and you guys can see I mean we are now filling up and then on the outside you will actually receive a message that if you do want to do it so you will press enter then here you guys go you can fight fires without needing any placeable anything like that so that is pretty cool and it actually shows you how much it is at so while you're uh, kind of fighting the fires you know that is awesome very high quality and credits go to him for making these and he actually reached out to me and sent me uh, these from his website and I do appreciate that and I actually do use these in quite a lot of videos up next we'll be taking a look at another one this is a Pierce Velocity engine this thing looks pretty cool engine 70 really do like this one a lot like we're saying the option for chrome or not and I mean this thing looks epic we'll take a walk around and I really do like this one a lot so you guys can see this is pretty cool. I believe that this does have like the same back body as that one, just a different cab. Once we hop on the inside view, same sirens, everything like that, but this one does have fully functioning all one. So let's kind of take a look at that. This one you do actually have to press N for those lights. Take a look at these fire engine lights. These are some pretty epic lights. And I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. Same sirens as the other one. No need to kind of check once more. And a top speed of 62 miles per hour. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Kenworth tanker truck this is one pretty cool truck I really do like a lot you guys can see full LED lights and very nicely done on the bed of this and it does have dual axles in the back so we'll kind of walk back around here and we'll be hopping on the inside now you guys can see it does have all of the sirens 
So all the sounds are the same across all of them, which is very nice. You guys can see this does a full function LED lights, and all the lights do work on it. I really do like these light textures. I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. You guys can see very nicely done. And then on the inside of this, there is no interior rear view on this one, which is okay. But I mean, awesome job on these lights. We'll be turning it off. And the final mod we'll be taking a look at today is an older brush truck, B72, which is pretty cool. I really do like the quality of this model. Very nicely done. You guys can see Utah license plate axes in the front. This is high quality next level, which is pretty cool. You guys can see giant water tank here in the back. And when you do actually kind of take the hose, that will actually kind of go away, which is pretty cool. And you guys can see LED light bar in the back. So once we turn it on, you guys can see all these lights. I mean, it has a big upgrade. It's an older vehicle, but brand new LED lights, it looks like. This thing handles awesome, and it does have a first person view. Take a look at this, and I mean, this thing looks awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.